morning, welcome to today's video. Freezing, freezing, freezing. You're not allowed to be late. Well, I am. You got a new bike? Um, this is a new bike and I have it in my hands, yeah. Wheel spins. It's round. This is cool, my villa is coming with one of these integrated bar stems. Do you know what my favorite thing in the office is right now? Go on. This. <laughs> Chris, you gotta do that for the National 24. Do you know what uh, word comes before off? Yes. Go on. Yes off. Yes off. It's fucking yes off. I'm not swearing on camera. New Year's resolution. Ah. Oh, actually kind of cool. That is cool actually. George, you should put cycling caps on all your lights, your down lighters. So welcome to a day of work at Jam Cycling. Uh, I think we're doing some outdoorsy stuff today. Taking some photos on bikes that George uh, wishes he owned, but actually lent to him. And purple wind. Ah. Breaking stuff. You right, George? Uh, fucking pissed off. Piece of shit. George is uh, a shit mechanic, so he's breaking all of his stuff. Jesse Boom Boom. Hello. Why are you wearing a coat indoors? <laughs> okay, it's actually quite warm in here now, but those doors were open and it was really cold, and now I'm just lazy, so I'm not taking it back off. It's like a cuddle in a jacket. <laughs> if we ever sell jam jackets, okay. it's like a cuddle Copyright, in a jacket. Copyright, patent. Nobody steal that. Some wank stain has loctited his chainring bolts. What so was that? I'm having to really force them open, and that means I've just slipped and I've just cut my hands. And because it's got oil all over it, I'm now gonna get oil inside my cup. Just put some wend on top. Because this person doesn't use wend, because they're a douche. Um, so now it's got a bloody oily cup. Who and is I've it? still got two to go. Who is it? Who's the wank stain? Lawrence. Yeah, probably. Is it you, George? You can smell it. Is it like? <laughs> was it you? Uh, it's, I must put so much force for it. You can smell the glue. Was, was it, it you? Was it you? No, it's not me. No. It's a problem with this bike. <clears throat> Fixed it. This is my TT bike. Your Christmas. Ooh. Yeah, that is it. Oh, can you zoom in on the internet? Boxer rose. And a skull on the front. Custom and painted, specialised. <laughs> yeah. yeah nice. Look at the forks. Fork in hell. Fork in hell. Is it custom flow that did this? Yeah. Awesome. And we're going to take this around the velodrome in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Sweet. And do some like aero testing. Yeah. That was do you aero. Think it'll be like, choo, cut your hair off. It smells well good, doesn't it? Well, my favourite one currently is the white one. I think it might be changing. This is awesome. The whole flat smells of this, whatever that is, bubble gum. Yeah. Bubble gum. Again, a little Christmas tree. There's a small Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You know what, like, it's really sad, isn't it, how genuine, like, we massacre Christmas trees. And then it's, <laughs> it's now the cull. Everyone just leaves them on the streets. Dude, that jacket's way too big for you. <laughs> look at it. Yeah. Jacket, look at the size of this. Right, our mission right now. We've got George's demo bike that he got sent. We've purple wended it. We're going out to take some shots. It's nicer than his actual bike. Much nicer. We've got a nice colourway on this. Black on black on black on black. Locations, locations. Sun's gone in. I like that I just said there's no sun and I'm wearing sunglasses. Tiny eyes. It's really cold. I wish I was wearing a jacket that doesn't fit. Your feet getting wet? Yeah. You're in a deeper bit than me as well. So those New Balance shoes, mate. One on each end of his bike. He had bar. two helmets, but neither of them were on his head. Chopper. I've got to admit, filming around here is such a pain because all of this building work is going on. They're like rebuilding Batsy Power Station. All right, mate. Giant Keith. orange man. Keith. Keith. All right, Keith. I haven't seen him in ages. How you doing, mate? He's so cold, he's frozen. We found the best Gingerbread. place for Gingerbread. photos ever. Did you? Yeah. Yep. Huh. Ever. Nice. So delicious. Ever. Yeah, it's broken though. Mm. I only eat gingerbread houses if they're still in the shape of a house. Okay. Oh, is Will coming tomorrow? Yeah. Girling. Girling. What uh, are you showing me? This is 
yeah. a gravel ride oh, that I did last year. I'm Thanks down, so. man. I'm all about the gravel racing now. Yeah, I just need to get my this beautiful bike back Work. and fixed. <laughs> well, it's your fault for breaking it, mate. You shouldn't have ridden off the edge of a mountain. I need to re-weld on some cable guides. That's fine. It's just like... Gaffer take the cables. <laughs> Dirty Reaver. Yeah, man. I reckon so. It was good fun last year. The weather was amazing. It's on the border of Scotland. I'm in. Count me in. I'll hide the sofas and things. Don't dare. You're filming this. Yeah. Dick bag. So yeah, Will Gerling is coming in tomorrow. We want to know from you what questions you want to ask him. I'm going to go through the nutrition video that we did with him before. He used to be the nutritionist for One Pro Cycling. Uh, they're a team that don't exist anymore. <laughs> Got well <laughs> He's also the guy who uh, helped Alex Richardson lose all of his weight when he was becoming a pro cyclist. Whatever questions you have about nutrition, put them in the comments below and uh, we'll do our best to answer them tomorrow. What do you want to ask, Will? What's for lunch? That's what I'm going to ask him. I got all excited because you were talking about cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. But you no, weren't, you were talking about, about cherries. cherries. Yeah. yeah. Now some cherry, cherry pre workout. Have you got vegan cheese? Um, I've got Indian cheese, like paneer. Is that. I assume that's not vegan, is it? No, sorry. Vegan milk. Turn it into cheese. Milk. Milk. <laughs> what test are you going to make Jess and Will do tomorrow? So we're going to do a sub-maximal test to basically see how Will has recovered from his injury. So we don't want to push him all the way to do a full FTP test because his legs might not like it and his head definitely won't. Anyone who uh, has been out of the loop, basically Will got hit by a lorry. Broke every bone in his body and is now back cycling again. So, both his bikes. But yeah, um, <laughs> broke, broke both his bikes. But so first thing we do is just a submaximal test to see how his heart rate's responding. Because if his heart rate's right through the roof at what used to be a very average power for him, then we'll know he's probably not right to stick him into training yet. So we're just going to see how long it takes for his heart rate to stabilise at a reasonable effort. Why well, has Jess got to do it? She's going to kind of like be our baseline because she's quite fit at the moment. So she's going to do it alongside Will so we can see how a fit athlete is responding. But also, more than that, it's actually quite good for Will. The first time he's doing a test, have somebody else doing it with him. So mm. it's more of a mental ease for him than it is anything else. you got to absolutely smash him. Like smash him. I don't know if I will. We'll probably still be fitter than me. 500 watts. <laughs> the main reason we're doing it is because he started doing a few little turbo sessions and already we're seeing his heart rate's very, very high on easy efforts. So we just want to kind of exactly understand exactly where he is Limited on damage his recovery. Yeah. yeah. Is it worth mentioning that he is a big guy, his heart rate could potentially be high anyway? It will be high anyway, yeah. yeah. But, you know, we've got enough data on him from the last uh, six or seven months worth of training to kind of understand where he is on his own scale. He is big. How, how much do you think he weighs? 90... 9798? Yeah, he's probably not much under 100. If he's not riding and he's in the gym all the time, probably over 100. Well over six foot. Tell you what, tomorrow we'll, we'll measure him. We'll what? Measure him? Yeah, we'll, and we'll, we'll measure him, him. Tape out and we'll weigh him. We will also uh, make him cook us lunch. We'll put him on a turbo and then make him cook us lunch. Yeah, 100%. All right, fair play. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Gym. Gym? gym. gym. Get a gym bar. I'm gym. expecting you to be as big as Will Girling tomorrow. Okay. They're still washing the ground. So I'm just riding home and I'm stuck between trying to keep my wattage low enough that I don't get fatigued because I'm still a bit ill and I want to get better. I'm stuck between that and then getting too cold because I'm not doing enough watts. Annoying.